we have to do this quick before this little girl wakes back up and demands my whole life from me. So, welcome to my first postpartum grocery haul. I'm so excited to be back doing these. It has been like a whirlwind month. Homegirl is a month old. Um, she is pretty demanding. Um, it makes me realize that I probably like starved my son. Um, like by just giving him breast milk because he slept all the time. She eats all the time. So, um, except at night. She is sleeping, not through the night, but she's sleeping a lot at night, which is really helpful. So anyways, I decided it was finally time to go back to meal planning. Um, and yeah, I'm still going to be relying uh, these two weeks on some food from the freezer, but we'll talk about that because I still do have some food left over from all of my prep that I did and from a lot of stuff that people brought us. Um, but we, I just decided it was time to, yeah, to continue our two week grocery shop and meal plan because we've gone to the grocery store a couple of times, but when you have a new baby, it's so hard. I just forgot how hard it was to get to the grocery store. Also, things were way different with Zeke because he was born at the beginning of the pandemic. So we literally had Zeke and then the next week, the world was already shut down, but then the next week the hospital like started taking it really seriously and implemented like masks and COVID testing. So that's like how close to the pandemic he was. So like we really didn't go much at like the grocery store was the only place you went, you know? And Bryson was here all day, every day working from home. So I'm sorry if you hear my dogs in the background, they're sniffing around. Hey y'all, can you come here? Come on. I don't know if they'll join us, but come on. Um, if you hear them snorting, just know it's them and not me snoring or the baby. Okay, so just a refresher for anybody who um, isn't familiar or just in case it's been so long that you don't remember how we do things. I plan for two weeks at a time. It's usually Friday to two weeks from Friday, but now that um, I'm on maternity leave, I am just gonna do like Monday is just easy and the store is pretty empty on Monday morning. Um, say hi to Roxy. Hi Roxy Bear. Um, so I'm gonna do Monday to Monday. So that's two weeks, Monday through Monday. And we try to stay under $125 a week. Um, so I get a $250 grocery budget when I go. My grocery budget right now does not include diapers wipes, formula, any household goods. That's all separate for right now. Bryson just got a raise. I just got a bonus. I'm up for a raise in a couple of weeks. And so we're just not really sure like financially what that looks like for our budget. So we're going to be redoing our budget soon. We'll probably um, walk through that process with y'all just so you can see how we budget. But for now, those things just aren't included in my grocery budget. So, um, yeah. What am I saying? I don't know. My brain is just out the window all the time. My brain was out the window when I was pregnant and now it's out the window that I'm postpartum. And I just am beginning to think my brain is never going to come back or at least never fire at full capacity like it used to. Okay. Why don't we just jump into the meal plan? As always, I'll put pictures on the screen of anything that I can get a picture of. I'll link all the recipes down below for anything that we have um, recipes for or if it's something I don't know off the top of my head. If you have, if, if I don't link a recipe and you're like, I really wanna know what that is or how to make that, just let me know in the comments and I will send you the recipe. Um, that's, I'm sorry, she's just really snorty. She's also really happy to be in my lap because usually the baby's in my lap and she doesn't have space. Okay, so Monday we're gonna do chili. So I have chili in the freezer. I have two bags of chili left and I actually have a women's group that I'm going to on Monday night, me and the baby. So the boys will need some food. So we're gonna pull out the chili and then they'll have like a couple of servings of chili and then like one leftover serving of chili. And let's see, on Tuesday, we're gonna make air fryer salmon with sweet potatoes and I think probably just like a simple green salad. I have some leftover lettuce in my freezer, oh, freezer in my fridge. On Wednesday, we're gonna do a taco bake. So I'm gonna make this using the last of the ground beef that I cooked off before I went postpartum. Oh, she's so loud. On Thursday, we're gonna make chicken or turkey lettuce wraps, depending on what I can find in the store. And um, 
those are like the P.F. Chang style lettuce wraps, but instead of making lettuce cups, which can get really messy, we're just going to shred up the lettuce and make kind of like a lettuce wrap bowl. And then on Friday, we will either go out to eat or go to my in-laws house. If we don't go out to eat, no, I'm sorry. If we don't go to my in-laws house, we'll probably do Chick-fil-A because we haven't had Chick-fil-A in a while and we love Chick-fil-A. On Saturday, I'm going to do homemade pizza. On Sunday, I have a ziti bake that my sister brought us that we couldn't get to in time, so I popped it in the freezer. So I will pull that out a couple of days ahead of Sunday, and then we'll just bake that off. So that is already something that we have in the freezer. So, so far, the chili, the taco bake, and the ziti bake are all things that I am utilizing that are left over in my freezer. So, hallelujah, that will save us some money. On Monday, we're going to do crock pot carnitas so I will just buy a shoulder or a butt like a pork butt and then I'll put it in the crock pot and let that kind of go all day shred the meat put it under the broiler to crisp it up and then we'll eat that with tacos or we can have leftovers for um like nachos or whatever on Tuesday we're gonna do mushroom chicken this is Trader Joe's bag um it's just one of those like ready-made meals so we'll do that and I'll make some rice and then any green veggies that I have left over we'll do that too on Wednesday, we're going to do lemon chicken thighs. So I'm really excited about that one because that's a half-baked harvest recipe. I'll link it down below. But I we I made it last week, and it was so good. And it, we just realized it would be so good in pitas. And so I'm going to buy some pitas. I'll make an Israeli salad. Um, and then, yeah, it'll be delicious. We'll just shove it in a pita. On Thursday, we're going to do breakfast for dinner. On Friday, we will either go to my in-laws house or go out to eat. On Saturday, we're going to make burgers and then do f probably just like frozen fries with that because that's just easy. And on Sunday, we're going to do mandarin chicken. So that is going to be a recipe from Trader Joe's, a, a recipe, a bagged meal from Trader Joe's again. And I'll just make some rice and whatever green veggies I have on hand for that. So that means that we're using chili, taco bake, ziti bake. Mushroom chicken and mandarin chicken is encompassing five meals for us. But now most of those meals won't make leftovers and we have, um, and we eat leftovers for lunch. That's how we use up the rest of our food. Oh, this is Moo's joined us too. So we've got Roxy and Moo. They both want to talk about food too. Um, so we will just have to probably pick up some extra like lunch meat or something for lunches just to have on hand just in case. Okay. Well, Let's go grocery shopping and then we'll jump into that haul. Okay, see you when all of this counter is filled with stuff. Okay, bye. So you may be hearing my daughter cry in the background during this. We're gonna do this really fast. She's just really gassy. But you know what, who isn't gassed up nowadays, right? Here are all of our groceries. Let us go ahead and start with the produce section. Got a cucumber that I'm gonna use in the Lebanese salad. Two uh, things, bunches of green onions. I don't even remember what I'm gonna use those for. Some garlic, couple of sweet potatoes, which I'm gonna use for tonight's air fryer salmon. Have some parsley and some cilantro. A pack of strawberries. Some um, white onions. These are, I know I've said it before, but these are my favorite and they were on sale. Some cuties. One red bell pepper to go in the taco bake. Some of these ruby row tomatoes, which I'm going to use in the Lebanese salad also. Or maybe it's Israeli salad. I can't remember. It's Israeli. It's an Israeli salad. And then I got some Roma tomatoes, which I'm using in something, I think, for tacos. An orange, which I'm going to use for our crock pot, crock pot carnitas. Some super green bananas, because we have a couple left and I need these to last. Four avocados, and that's just kind of for tacos and for Bryson's um, avocado toast, which we'll eat some mornings. A couple of Cosmic Crisp apples. Oh, so good. They're my fave. A head of bib lettuce, which we will use for the chicken lettuce wraps that we're going to make this week. So that's the produce. Much less produce than I normally buy. And there's my snack for later from a previous grocery trip. Let's come over here to the frozen section. Okay, so you need to know that I did the shopping yesterday and had to kind of throw everything in the freezer and then run out the door for my women's group. So some of this stuff has already been gotten into. 
Um, so a box of Texas toast. My sister brought us a um, ziti bake that's in the freezer. We're gonna use that this week. So got some Texas toast to go with it. Some salted caramel core ice cream. So I knew that my budget was gonna be, I would have a little bit of flexibility in my budget this week. So I just wanted to treat Bryson and I to some nice ice cream to have in the freezer. So this is Bryson's favorite. He already ate some last night. I got this one. This is a new flavor I hadn't seen before. Topped salted caramel brownie. Excited to try that one. These are so expensive. I feel like they went up like 50 cents in price. These are like $5.50, which is crazy ridiculous for a pint of ice cream. But, you know, sometimes you just got to treat yourself. Got some double vanilla ice cream for when Bryson makes our pazookies. Is that what they're called? He's sitting on the couch right now. The skillet cookies or the skillet brownies. You just got to have some vanilla ice cream. Got some golden steak fries to do in the air fryer when we make our burgers. And so let's go over to the meat and dairy section. So you, you already know I count eggs as meat because they become a meat substitute for us. So got an 18 count of those. Got some deli meat for Bryson's random one-off lunch sandwiches that he's gonna have. Some bacon for breakfast for dinner and we'll cook off all of it. We won't use it all and then Bryson will use some of it for his sandwiches. Got some salmon, which I will put in the air fryer tonight with sweet potatoes, um, and I think we'll make a salad with that. Some ground turkey, so we're actually, they didn't have any ground chicken, so we're actually doing ground turkey lettuce wrap, chicken lettuce wraps. Two pounds of ground beef. They also didn't have any affordable, like, one pound ground beef packets. I usually like to get their, like, Simple Truth brand, but they didn't have any, so I just got this two pounds, so I just need to to decide if we'll prep um, all of this and make eight to 10 burgers, or if we will freeze half of this and have half a pound, or and have a pound of ground beef in the freezer and only make five burgers. So I haven't decided yet. And then I've got some boneless pork shoulder, no, bone-in pork shoulder here. This is gonna be for the carnitas. Typically I try to buy like the bigger package or like the bigger boneless pork butt or pork shoulder, but this is all they had. So this is what I got. So for our dairy, we have some whole milk, of course, for Zeke and for oatmeal and all that stuff. A thing of whole milk Greek yogurt. Um, this I just included here because I don't know where else to put it, but some garlic hummus for when we do our um, lemon chicken pitas. A block of Colby Jack cheese, which we'll shred and use for the taco bake and for other taco-inspired things that we'll make. Some pizza blend cheese, which we will use for our pizza that we're going to make this week. And this salsa, we'll use this whole container of salsa in the taco bake that I'm making tomorrow night. All right, so on to the pantry ingredients. Also my Starbucks beverage, which is an iced pistachio latte with only two pumps of sweetener. So really good and blonde espresso. Okay, so some sliced water chestnuts, which I'm gonna have to go back in and dice. I'll use those for the lettuce wraps. Pinto beans, these are for the um, taco bake. Green chilies, also for the taco bake. It doesn't call for these in the recipe, but I love green chilies and things. So we're gonna throw those in there. Tomato sauce, so this is just a really easy hack for when you want pizza sauce. You just take a can of tomato sauce and you mix in salt, pepper, and Italian seasoning to taste. And then it's like a dollar for pizza sauce. And then you just freeze the leftover in like muffin cups or in little portions. And yeah, then you have tomato sauce on hand and it's much cheaper than buying tomato sauce in the store. A bag of mission tortilla chips in case we want to take the carnitas and shred it and make nachos, but also really good to go with the taco bake. Some of these Ghirardelli bittersweet chocolate chips, just love to have them on hand. A bag of these lint truffles. So we, um, I'm trying to cut out a lot of sugar and this is one of the ways that I combat it by just having like two of these a day. So I know I can have one after lunch and one after dinner. Uh, it satisfies my sweet tooth without having to have like a huge dessert. So some pitas for our um, lemon chicken bake. Some more tortillas, white corn tortillas. I actually got these for free. I had a best customer Kroger coupon for one free bag of these. So I got some kettle chips and I got a flavor that I would enjoy, even though it's Bryson that mainly eats them. 
Had to restock on our brown sugar. Got this variety pack of applesauce pouches. Was so happy to see that this was back because they didn't have this for a while. Rice cakes for my breakfast. You can tell this has already been gotten into, but these are Dave's bagels. Bryson loves these. So now Bryson has the option of having a bagel for breakfast or he can make himself um, avocado toast. Also got Bryson some gummy bears. He keeps these at his desk at work and these are the best. These are, we are convinced these are Albanese gummy bears. If you've ever had them, I'll put a picture of them up on the screen. They're so good, but you can buy this like 17 ounce container at Kroger for like five bucks and they taste the exact same and they even have the A on them. So little Kroger hack, Albanese gummy bears, the best gummy bears. Got a big bottle of olive oil. Um, I was excited to see this too because I haven't had this for a while. And then two boxes of mac and cheese. These are just kind of like backups that we have on hand for when we make a meal that Zeke really isn't going to be into or that isn't Zeke friendly. So yeah, here are my groceries for the week. My overall total at the store was $273, but my grocery total was $200. So it ended up being a hundred bucks a week, which is awesome. We are relying on our freezer a little bit for that to get that cost down. But yeah, super great. Um, the reason it was 273 is because I bought some diapers and I bought some formula cause we do supplement. I mainly breastfeed, but we do supplement a little bit, um, with Valley. And then I also bought two Starbucks gift cards and a pack of thank you cards for the um, MD and midwife that delivered Valley just as a way to say thank you for making my experience so great. So the $73 is for the diapers, the formula, and the um, gift cards and thank you cards. Okay, that's it. So we'll see you next time for more cooking videos.